Hi guys, welcome to Nextgen Student Channel Thermodynamic Web Series. Today I am going to discuss Gaskell 9.10 question. So let's get started. So in the 9.10 question we are given the activity coefficient of zinc and we need to find the activity coefficient of cadmium and the activity of cadmium. So we will use the Gibbs-Johem equation which is integral xzn0 to xzn. We take the differential. So we have this equation from the question. We take that differential. So when we take the differential, we are left with d x c d. So we know that x zinc plus x c d equals to 1. When we take the differential on both sides, we know the differential of 1 is 0. So the d of zn equals to minus d of x c d. So this is nothing but minus d zn. So we can do the integration from the same intervals. So we will cancel x c d. Now we are left with z x zn. So we will write xcd in terms of 1 minus xzn and integrate the xzn here. So I am simplifying the terms and integrating it. We will have xzn square by 2 and xzn cube by 3. After putting the intervals, we are left with 0.425 xzn square plus 0.3 xzn cube. So, a, so the activity coefficient ln of activity coefficient of cadmium is this. Now at x z n equals to 0.5, we have the activity coefficient of cadmium equals to 1.1456 after taking the exponential. Now we know the activity is the mole fraction into the activity coefficient of cadmium. So we will use this formula. So we will just multiply with 0.5. So we will have 0.577 which is the activity of cadmium. Now we have to find the Gibbs free energy of mixing so which is nothing but the mole fraction into the partial Gibbs energy. So we know the partial Gibbs energy is nothing but the chemical potential of 1 which is nothing but RT ln of A. So we will write the partial Gibbs energy as RT ln of the element and now we have the activity of cadmium. We will find the activity of zinc at x c d equals to 0.5. So we have the formula for the activity coefficient. From the activity coefficient, we can get the uh, omega gamma, and the activity of zinc is 0.599. So we will put this in the activity. Finally, we will have minus 3126.8 joule per mole. That is the Gibbs energy of mixing. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please press the bell icon for further notifications. If you have any content that you would like to see, please do comment below.